This DigiKey and Adafruit present. All right, this week's INMPI is from Pro Ant. Pro Ant. Ooh, Pro Antennas from Pro Ant. This is the first time we featured them. And um, they have this antenna that I saw in digikey.com slash new, which I always recommend everybody check out. There's a new couple new sensors that just popped in today. Uh, so the this is the, I'll get the part number totally correct. It is the Pro OB607 onboard SMD. Uh, 2400 stamped antenna. It looks like this big chunk of stamped metal. Uh, there's also an eval board that comes with it. It's kind of just like the antenna with this, an SMA connector on the back so you can use it to evaluate uh, this antenna. It has a couple capacitors as well. Um, you're wondering, hey, you know, Pro Ant, that sounds like familiar, right? Like, where, where have I heard that? Where have I heard that? No, it's uh, not the name of the professional. Um, Ant Farmer Association. It's uh, a technology that's also licensed in, on the back of the Raspberry Pi, right? So you see here on the back of this Pi Zero, it says uses the antenna technology license from Pro Ant. Um, and if we go across uh, on the south side, you're like, well, I don't see that metal antenna. Um, that's because the antenna that they license is actually like a PCB design, and it's like this thing, this like uh, you know line with the ground plane, and then this like kind of cool triangular shape. Uh, with a couple passive components, like a very inexpensive antenna, um, and it works really well. I mean, we've actually seen this on a couple of Raspberry Pi products. Uh, so this is cool to see, like they, they're like doing really cutting edge antenna technology. Um, so, you know, they, not only do they have the stamped antenna, but if you are doing a PCB and you're doing a lot of them, and you want a very low cost antenna that, you know, I think is probably smaller and gives you better results than an inverted F, um, although I don't know for sure, I didn't, I, I don't, didn't look at the licensing documentation, but I assume it must be better because otherwise they wouldn't be using it. Um, check out ProAnt for uh, licensing um, antenna technology. Um, so you're also wondering, uh, you know, kind of this like bent wire antenna thing, where have I seen that before? You probably saw it on the back of the Pi Portal Pint because we use U-Box modules. And hey, look at that, it's a ProAnt antenna. Um, might be the same model, might be a slightly different one, but it's this kind of 3D antenna. It, it pops up and above um, the PCB. You can also see this antenna style used uh, here. Oh, look, it's another ProAnt antenna. This is on uh, the Pico ESP32. It's a dev board that we stock as well. And then what's this? Oh, look, uh, Espressif uses it on their uh, PCBs as well for their, their Pico board. So I was, you know, I've seen this this bent metal antenna, and I've kind of been like, what's the deal here? And so when I saw it come up on uh, INMPI, I was like, this is cool. I'm going to pick some up because I'm always working on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz stuff. Um, and what's the cool thing about this antenna? Um, well, the cool thing about this antenna is it's got really great gain. It's really inexpensive. It's you know, uh, you know, cents. It's definitely going to be less than like 30 cents or so. It comes on a tape and reel. Uh, it's really easy to pick in place. It's it's fully metal, so you know it's going to reflow quite nicely. Um, it's got really nice um, uh, circular uh, emission. You know, it's off of the PCB, so you're going to get um, more 3D gain across you know the, the entire sphere of emission. Um, the gain is a max 4.9 dBi. You know, the the data sheet has more graphs, um, and it has less than uh, sorry, it has. Ooh, do you mind making it a little larger? Because I, I, oh yeah. Sorry, the text is so small. Um, it has better than a sixty-five percent efficiency, which is really great, uh, and less than a negative about seven dB uh, return loss. Um, so if you compare that with your, you know, inverted F antenna, um, you know, you're going to get definitely more gain. You know, here even the the max gain is going to be three point three dBi. And the reflection is uh, negative 15 dB instead of negative 7. So, you know, yes, uh, nothing is going to beat for price a, a printed PCB antenna. But hey, you know, you can do better than that. Uh, get this, you know, 3D stamped antenna. Uh, pick and place it on your design. They're not very big. And, um, you know, I, I will say that I, I when I see a lot of people using these antennas, I know there must be something good going on. So. You know, I know a lot of folks use ceramic antennas or 3D antennas, and sometimes your space requirements uh, dictate that. But if you have a little bit of space um, and, uh, you know, the height doesn't doesn't bother you, especially if you have a, a tin can so that maybe the height would be equal uh, to the antenna height, 
Um, check out these antennas. They, have, they seem to have really good performance, and I'm looking forward to designing one of these antennas into my next Wi-Fi or Bluetooth design. Um, there is a, uh, you know, there's a couple different versions. Um, I'll say this one is, is this big. Um, this is in millimeters. Uh, it's got a couple of solder points. Um, it, you know, this, I like that it has a couple, multiple solder points, so it's nice and stable against the PCB. Um, but it looks like they designed a couple different types of these stamped, you know, 3D antennas. Um, like I said, they're, they're pretty cheap. You buy them by the reel. Uh, this particular part is uh, Pro OB607, but the entire Pro Ant, you know, they have many boards in the series or many antennas in the series. D you know, bigger sizes, you're going to get more gain, uh, maybe less return loss. So, you know, you, you figure out how big your antenna can be and uh, check out these antennas. They, they seem to be quite the pros at antennas. That's why they're called Pro Ant. Yeah, and you can get this over on DigiKey, digikey.com forward slash short URL. 4 F D Z 8 M 4 2 and then for the product number um, 1532 Pro OB 607 and then there's a couple variations like more said yeah we also have a video that's right they, had a, they have look, go subscribe to the Pro Ant YouTube channel they only have like a couple dozen subscribers uh, you could be first to comment on their videos uh, when they do more videos. So check out this video from Pro uh, Ant. today. I want to introduce you to a demonstrator for the new Recom. Oops, sorry. I think I gave you the wrong link. Oh, yeah? Oh, I apologize. Ending in here. <laughs> I apologize. That was last week's video. Um, exciting. I will, uh, I'll send you the video in a bit, and we'll... Uh, yeah, well, when we add it to the... What we'll do is we'll stop this here and we'll, uh, for this segment... Yes. And then on the page that people are going to see this all the time, that's when we'll have that video in. Or they can just go to the YouTube, uh, youtube.com, search for Pro Ant, and check out the video. It's the video they have on their page. All right. All right, thanks, everybody. And that's I on MPI. Good job. I on MPI.